All right, let's keep going. Um, we've looked at how to customize some assets down here, right? Like we have data objects, we have icons. We also looked at how to add some icons inside of our uh, scene window. There's still more things that we can do even before we get into editor scripting proper. Uh, again, we're just looking to like make our assets easier to work with for designers. So there's some really simple things that you should know about before you you know, bother doing a lot of custom scripting because you may not need it yet. Maybe we want to visualize some of this data down here. So for example, uh, we have our monster data over here. Maybe we want to see the uh, range of awareness um, on our monster, right? You know, we could even do some things that visualize our speed or health or something. Not worried about that yet. Uh, we'll start simple. Uh, range of awareness 12, perhaps. Um, maybe we can draw something inside of the editor to help us visualize that. So gizmos and Unity are just a really easy way to draw something inside of the scene, pulling from data on our asset. Let's come into our monster script over here and we have access to our data. Now there are two uh, methods that we can use on a mono behavior script. One is it's on draw, so draw gizmos. On draw gizmos and on draw gizmos selected. Um, I will say most times I, I will use on draw gizmos selected. Let me show you private. Oops, copy that. <clears throat> on this one, we want on draw gizmos selected. Let me spell that right. Okay. Uh, if it's blue, then it, it's spelled properly. Uh, but make sure that you check the spelling. On draw gizmos will just always draw the thing. And on draw gizmo selected will only draw on this if we have this object selected. So if I want to see a circle representing the awareness, only when I have that monster selected, then I'll use draw gizmo selected. Uh, if I want to see it no matter what, while I'm looking at other objects and it's still drawing it, then I'll just do on draw gizmos. You can find gizmos in the API. Uh, if we go over here, Unity API gizmos. Right over here, draw sphere. There's plenty of other ones as you can see, but if we put, uh, usually the wire ones will be less in the way. So those are a good place to start. Could do sphere and we can even see example code here on what to do. So we see that we need a color. Well, we, we can give it a color. We call gizmos.drawWireSphere and then we just give it a position and we give it a radius. So the position is going to be the position of the monster, right? The position of this monster object. And the radius is going to be the awareness pulled from the data, which remember is a separate object. So we have our monster. So we open that back up. So like I said, we we don't really need this one, but just to show you, you could put code there if you wanted. Um, move that out of the way. On draw gizmos selected. So if you want to draw it, I believe it's gizmos dot draw. And then we decide what kind of shape we want to draw. In this case, we'll draw a sphere. You know, if we had like a like a hitbox or um, a line of sight that's in an area in front of the uh, the monster, we could do we could draw that if it's important. But uh, let's do draw sphere. Oh no, draw wire sphere. That's what I want. Draw wire sphere from transform that position. So remember, this is the position of the transform on the same game object that the script is attached to. So it's gonna be this transform dot position, right? Okay, and then the radius is going to be data dot range of awareness. So no matter what we have in there, for each monster, they're gonna have their own range of awareness. So it should populate that out into the scene. Save that. Okay, so you can see this. Uh, I have that monster selected, we can see it. I have that monster selected, we can see it. One is bigger than the other, I think. Uh, let's let's double check that. Let's make the skeleton a lot smaller. Dragon a lot bigger, okay. So dragon, skeleton, right? This is pretty cool. We can actually visualize, are they near the door? Will the monster see them when they walk into the room? That's a cool way to do it. You can uh, multi-select and you can still see it. Like I said, you could have it draw no matter what. Uh, not just when it's selected, if you do on draw gizmos. We can also set the color, I guess uh, gizmos.color is equal to color dot, I don't know, red. Save, come back, and it's red. Uh, just to show you the difference between draw wire sphere and draw sphere, save that. Like, look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. We, we don't need that. Um, you could probably set, the, set some opacity in there too, but all we need is the draw wire sphere. 
Yeah, so it's just a way you can use gizmos. Uh, let's actually, maybe we can do a ray cast as well. Like maybe once they're in the awareness radius, maybe we also want to see if they're in line of sight. So we can actually do a, uh, we can draw a ray inside of our editor window as well. So just draw that in the forward direction. So to do that, we're just gonna hop back in. Uh, we do wanna do on draw gizmo selected, um, just to show you where we can find more. We can go back into the API, we can look up draw ray over there. You know, we can get some example code and use this as a starting point. Let's copy. So this is just drawing in a direction. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we need this, but Hey, it works, it's fine. We could probably do transform.forward. Let's try that. Short, shorthand. But maybe it matters like what our, uh, you know, awareness radius is. So we'll actually do the same thing. We'll say our radius, we'll say forward direction, right? So we need a direction and we need length. So our direction is forward and our length is our radius, right? Our half of our circle. So we'll try that. Uh, this is our direction, so we're just storing that here. Then we're drawing it from current position. Now remember, our position is at the floor. So if we wanted a, um, you know, if we wanted a line of sight, we could position at this at the eyes or something. Um, we're not going to worry about that yet, but you could do that just like we did our projectile spawn. You could have a like eyesight or whatever. You could do that. Doesn't matter. I'm just showing you the gizmos, and maybe we want to change the color on that to. Color dot cyan. So this is our. Actually, we'll relabel that ray. Draw it at. Okay. So our ray is this direction of that length. That's our line. And then start here and then position the line. Okay. Hey, there we go. Uh, again, you can see how it's at the floor. So that's not great, right? We might want to move that up. Um, we could ha we could add an offset and then put that on the vertical, but you know it, it doesn't matter. Just you can see how you can draw rays. If you have other kind of ray casts, like if you're shooting downwards to detect a floor, or if you're determining if there's a wall right behind you for wall jumping or something, you could do that. Uh, but it's nice to be able to debug, visualize that at, when you have the object selected, right? Like I want to see, okay, at runtime, maybe even during play mode, can I click this monster and see its ray cast? to visualize what's happening so I can debug it. So yeah, just a few little gizmos for you that are um, pretty handy that you can do. And there's more, right? Like you could go into here and you could do cubes and uh, visualize the hitbox. You could visualize um, all sorts of things. So just pretty neat.